In today's League Lowdown, we're returning to France to investigate the clubs that might just inspire your next FM22 save idea. We'll examine the best clubs to manage in Ligue 1 and beyond, taking in rebuilds and lower league challenges. From former European champions to clubs from yesteryear, we'll try and tempt you with your next FM adventure in the League Lowdown Guide to France. Welcome to the League Lowdown Guide to France and what might be one of my top three leagues to manage in in Football Manager. We're going to have a look at a range of clubs that might tempt you for your next Football Manager adventure. But let's start by investigating how the league structure works. France's top division is known as Ligue 1 and has a pretty straightforward structure. There are 20 clubs in it. They play each other over a 38-game campaign at the end of which two teams are automatically relegated and the team that finishes in 18th place has the peril of a playoff with one of the clubs from the division below, known as Ligue 2. Similarly, it's got 20 teams in another 38-game campaign. At the end of the season, the top two automatically replace the bottom two from Ligue 1. And then we've got a slightly more complex playoff system in France. If you finish in fifth place, you qualify for a playoff against the team that comes fourth. The winner of that tie then has a second playoff against the team that comes third. Then the winner of that tie has a final playoff game against the team that's finished 18th from the division above to see who will take up that final place in Ligue 1 next season. Down the bottom, we've got two teams getting automatically relegated and the team in 18th again qualifies for a playout with the playable third division below. This time, we've got four teams being relegated automatically the top two being promoted automatically, and it's the team that comes third that has that playoff playout game with the team from the division above. So that's how the league structure works. Let's have a look at the clubs that you could manage, starting with the champions. So France is one of those leagues around Europe where taking charge of the champions doesn't necessarily make you favourites to win the title next season. Lille were the surprise winners of Ligue 1 last season, but they've lost their manager and a couple of their key players, meaning that Football Manager only has them predicted to finish fifth this time around. They play at a stadium that holds just under 50,000 supporters, and their facilities all round are pretty impressive with excellent training and youth facilities. Maybe the junior coaching and the youth recruitment could be improved somewhat, but this is a club that defied all expectations last season to clinch their fourth League 1 title. You'll see that they've won two of them, over the last decade or so to add to the titles they won in 1946 and 1954. You can add to that further domestic success by winning the Coupe de France six times as well. You'll see that the one that they won in 2011 made it a double winning year for Lille. Getting back to the top of the table is not going to be as straightforward as you might think for a club that finished first last season and certainly Taking this club to the top of European football is an adventure worth considering. But if you don't like the idea of taking charge of Lille, France has plenty of other challenges that you might enjoy managing. If you're looking to take charge of a club with an embarrassment of riches, well, how about succeeding Mauricio Pochettino at PSG? The club look like they are about to seal a record equaling 10th league on title in real life. They play at a stadium that holds just under 50,000 fans, and that is not the end of their impressive facilities. They've got excellent training facilities, superb youth facilities, and excellent academy coaching and youth recruitment as well. They are one of just a handful of clubs that have achieved success in Europe as well. They did lose the 2020 Champions League final, but in 1996, they beat Rapid Vienna from Austria to win the UEFA Cup Winners' Cup. They've already got nine league untitles, most of those coming over recent years, and they've won the Coupe de France an impressive 14 times as well. Again, many of those titles coming during the last decade. Taking charge of PSG would give you an ample budget to try and win the club from Paris's first ever Champions League trophy. Nothing short of that would be necessary for your time in charge to be a success. But there are clubs in France that have already won the Champions League. Currently tied with PSG on nine league earned titles are Olympic Marseille, but they have an honour that not only PSG are looking to equal, 
that no other club in France can boast, and that's that they've won Europe's top honour because in 1993 they beat AC Milan to lift the then European Cup or the now Champions League. Not the first time they'd been in the final either. They'd lost a couple of years previously to Red Star Belgrade from the former Yugoslavia, but they've also won the league a title nine times in total, although they're on a little bit of a streak without winning it, having their last victory in 2010, and they've got 10 Coupe de France titles as well, going back even further in their history to find the last of them. They are a club that has experienced some troubles off the pitch over recent years, but they do have some reasonable facilities with excellent training and youth facilities, but perhaps the areas of their youth coaching and youth recruitment could require some investment taking over Marseille and turning them back into the dominant force in France, capable of depriving PSG for the title, would be target number one were you to take charge before pressing on in Europe and trying to win a second European honour. AS Monaco are another example of a French club that have been to a Champions League final without being able to bring home the trophy in 2004. They lost out to Jose Mourinho's Porto in the final, meaning that they are still searching for their first European trophy. What they are not short of, though, is domestic success. They've got eight Ligue 1 titles and five Coupe de France's. The last one of those was won in 1991, and the last time they lifted the title was in 2017. This is a club, of course, synonymous with producing quality youngsters and to that end, you would have excellent training and excellent youth facilities, along with good academy coaching and good youth recruitment. Your attendances might not be as high at AS Monaco as they might be with other clubs, and the Stade Louis Dur only holds 18,500 fans. But if you like the idea of taking charge of a club that is still hungry for European success, but would first need to reignite its challenge for the French League on title, AS Monaco could be an interesting challenge for you. Alternatively, you could head down to the Côte d'Azur to take over upwardly mobile Nice, who start the season with a minus one point deduction that signalled their ambitions for this campaign by taking Christophe Galtier, who'd recently won the title with Lille, and installing him as their new boss. But you could succeed him and take charge of a club that has won Ligue 1. Granted, it was quite a long time ago, the most recent of their four league titles came in 1959 during what was a stellar decade for the club. They've also won the Coupe de France three occasions as well. They won it in 1952 and 1954, a golden decade for the club. And most recently, they've won it in 1997 as well. You'd be playing at the Alliance Riviera that holds just over 35,000 fans. Could you bring a league untitled back to the Côte d'Azur? For the Nice faithful. Rounding off our tour of the clubs expected to challenge for the top places in Ligue 1 is Olympic Lyonnais, a club that have been to the semi-finals of all three of UEFA's major competitions, reaching the Champions League semi-finals recently as 2020, but they're yet to appear in a final, never mind secure a European honour, but what they have managed to secure are seven Ligue 1 titles. They were synonymous with success during the early part of this century, winning the Ligue 1 title seven times between 2002 and 2008. And they've also won the Coupe de France five times as well. This is another club in France that has produced some exceptional talent down the years. And to that aim, you would have excellent training facilities, superb youth facilities, good academy coaching, and crucially, excellent youth recruitment as well. So if you were looking for a big club to be the basis of your academy challenge, Olympic Lyonnais may just fit the bill. But there are other clubs in France that might require a little bit of a rebuild, maybe even the most successful club in France domestically. A bit more of a rebuild is needed at Lyon's fierce rivals, AS Saint-Étienne, who are the most successful club domestically in France. They played a 42,000 capacity stadium, and during the 50s, 60s and 70s and very early 80s, they were one of France's top sides. They've won the title a record-winning 10 times between 1957 and 1981, and they've also won the Coupe de France on six occasions as well. On top of that, they reached the European Cup final in 1976, losing out to German powerhouse Bayern Munich 
and Saint Etienne are synonymous with one of the greatest players in France's history in Michel Platini. They're only predicted to finish 10th this campaign. It's been a long time since they have lifted any major silverware. If you're looking for a club that would require a little bit of development before they were capable of challenging for honours, Saint Etienne might be the ideal pick for you. But if we drop down to Ligue 2, we will find further examples of clubs that might be ripe for a rebuild. First of all, we'll put a link in the top corner of the screen to a video I've already released that might tempt you to start your rebuild project at Auxerre. But another former Ligue 1 winner that's now languishing down in the second tier are Socho, a club founded in 1928 by the Peugeot family, who were long-time investors in the club and play at a 20,000 capacity stadium but a club that was also in the 1930s experiencing its golden period. They won the league on title in 1935 and 1938, and in 1937 they added the Coupe de France as well, a cup that they've won a further time as recently as 2007. In order to turn Socho back into France's top team, you'd need to gain promotion first, and you'd need a significant rebuild of the club. But maybe that's the kind of challenge that you're looking for. Or maybe you want to sink even deeper into the French footballing pyramid to find your next FM adventure. The third tier in France is brimming with clubs that you could take charge of and steer to the top flight in France in search of further glory. Again, we'll pop a link in the top corner to a video where we've already discussed the merits of a save with Red Star, a club with a huge social ethos and no shortage of history and success as well. But there are other clubs playing at this level that have a proud history. Maybe you could take charge of FC Set, the club that were the first ever double winners in France, illustrating that they have won both the Coupe de France and the league title as well. They were a successful club up until 1939, when the war interrupted their progress in being one of France's top teams. Like Socio, Set were one of the founder members of Ligue 1, but they've never quite discovered the success that they were experiencing before the outbreak of World War II. Over more recent decades, they've experienced not one, not two, but three bankruptcies that have led to demotions and the club having to start out at lower levels, but they are now playing their trade in the third tier. Two cup wins and two league wins shows that this is a club with pedigree. It's just a long, long time since they've experienced success at the top level. But that is, of course, until you took over as their new boss. So that concludes the League Lowdown Guide to France, arguably one of the best leagues in football manager to take charge in. There are huge clubs for you to sink your teeth into, as well as challenges in the lower leagues and clubs that are in need of a rebuild. We'll see you very soon when we'll make another nation the focus of our next League Lowdown.